Hello, so we've come to the end of July and I'm here to present to you the DV 2023 end of July report. As most of you should know, July is an important month in the diversity visa program because it is in the month of July, for example, that we get to know the final cutoff numbers that will apply in the program that is about to end. And as I said in the last video, the end of July marks the official end of interview scheduling in the program that is about to end. So those are some of the things we are about to see in this report in addition to the latest DV 2023 statistics and interview prospects for DV 2023 applicants. So welcome as we begin. So we begin with the latest DV 2023 SEAC data as published by Zatitius on his website. But I must mention that the statistics that we are about to see represent the reality of the DV 2023 program up to around Thursday of last week. So considering that a couple of working days have gone by since Thursday last week, the current reality of the DV 2023 program is more in advance as compared to the statistics that we are about to consider. So up to around Thursday last week, a total of 44,631 diversity visas had been issued out. And so by now we can say about 45,000 visas have so far been issued out in the DV 2023 program. And we are still left with around 10,000 visas to be issued out during the months of August and September before the 2023 program comes to an end. So on average, that's about 5,000 visas for each of those two months remaining. Next are the cases on administrative processing and 221G. A total of more than 6,000 applicants find themselves in either of those situations. And one thing we indicated earlier in the month of July is that unlike in previous years, where such cases were settled for the most part before the program came to an end, in this year, embassies and consulates are not expected to voluntarily revisit AP and 221G cases because we are already on the way to seeing the 55,000 visas being issued. Then to the visas that have so far been refused, more than 4,000 are usually don't comment on the refused cases. Once cases are refused in the diversity visa program, there is no way that outcome can be overturned. So for those of you who have been asking concerning other options after your diversity visa was refused, I use this opportunity to say that there's no further option after your case has been refused. And I'm speaking about real refusal and not AP or 221G. Next, we have the ready cases or the cases that have been scheduled for interview. In a moment, I will return to that before we get to the end of this video because the ready cases are connected to interview scheduling, which is another section of this report. But one thing I must mention is that the bulk of those cases are scheduled at embassies with positive performance reports. And to name some of such embassies from the embassies covered on this channel and for the month of July, we have the embassy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the embassy in Algiers, Algeria, the embassy in Cairo, Egypt, the embassy in Monrovia, Liberia, the embassy in Muscat, Oman, the embassy in Nairobi, Kenya, the embassy in Suva, Fiji, and obviously the embassy in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Then to the cases in transit, we have a total of 370, and this number is an indicator of how close we are to the end of interview scheduling in this year's program. Earlier on in the program, we saw thousands of cases in transit. So the current few hundreds point to the winding down of interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. 
Next are the cut of numbers that we spoke about at the beginning. As we said, the final cut of numbers to apply in the DV 2023 program were published earlier in the month of July. And the various regions and exceptional countries helping to fund themselves ending the DV 2023 program with the following cut of numbers. Africa and North America are ending the DV 2023 program being current. For Asia, the final cut of number is 21,000. For Europe, is 32,000. For Oceania, is 2,500. And for South America, it is 3,150. And in the case of the exceptional countries beginning with the Africa region, in the case of Algeria, the final cut of number is 45,000. For Egypt, it is 43,200. For Morocco, 63,400. And then to Asia, where the final cut of number for Iran is 16,000. In the case of Nepal, it is 21,000. Then finally to Europe, where for Russia, it is 32,000. And Uzbekistan, where it is 17,000. And we said that applicants of the DV 2023 program with case numbers equal to or higher than these cut-up numbers that have been reported for the respective regions and exception countries have been eliminated from the DV 2023 program. Now, concerning the prospects of the DV 2023 program, we indicated in the last video that interview scheduling will continue throughout this week and even into next week until the next visa bulletin is released. And we added that those who have the best chance of still being scheduled are those who submitted their DS-260 early enough and who are assigned at embassies that are doing what they should do. And we also suggested that applicants should continue to check for their interview notification even if they do not have the best chances of being scheduled because at this point in the DV 2023 program, anything is possible for individual cases. So yes, continue to check for your interview notification. There's a saying that I usually share with diversity visa applicants and that saying is, it is not over until it is over. And because it is not yet over, so continue to check for your interview notification and I wish you all the best as you look forward to receiving it. So that is it. That was the DV 2023 end of July report. Thanks for watching this video. See you very soon, God willing, in the next one. Goodbye.